Let's do a bit of recycling by making little trinkets for Chinese New Year. For the lantern, I'm using an empty Coke can. I recommend a box cutter of sorts. Puncture little slits into the bottom of the Coke can about half an inch to an inch or more apart. Hold the can upside down and slide the razor downwards. This way it's safer on your hands and it works faster. Cut through all of the slits. Now start popping the slits outwards. You might have to fold the very top of the slit outwards for it to keep its shape. Be extremely careful, you don't want to cut yourself. For the ribbon phoenix, cut out a piece of ribbon about 9 inches long. Cut the ribbon in half lengthways. Keep in mind that the ribbon has to be pretty wide or you will need a magnifying glass to make this bird. Take that half and cut it in half again. Don't forget to cut the other side in half too. This is what your ribbon should look like. There should be 2 inches left over that is not cut into sections. Do this again to a second piece of ribbon. With the shiny side facing up, fold it at an angle and weave it through the other ribbons like so. Take the second section and also fold that at an angle and then weave it through the rest of the sections. On your second ribbon, repeat these same steps but with the shiny side facing down. With both of the shiny side facing up, hold it with the strips facing each other. Starting with the yellow ribbons, weave the inner one over the red and then under. Take the outer yellow ribbon, weave under and then over the reds. Whew, that wasn't too bad. Now working with the bottom yellow ribbons, Flip the whole thing over and bring the yellow and the red towards the front. Notice how the red is over the yellow. This means it will have to go under a yellow ribbon and then over. With this one, it's already under, so it will have to go over and then under. Use a piece of scotch tape to hold it in place. Rotate and bring the other section towards the front and repeat the same steps. Okay, now go ahead and bring the taped section towards each other and start weaving them together. Remember to weave in the same manner, recognizing where they need to go under or over each other. Carefully take off the tape and be sure that all the pieces are still woven together. I know it's hard, but try to be as diligent as possible.
fold all eight strands and gently pull tightly. On the inner upper right strand, you'll want to weave the red over and under the yellow. The strand parallel to it should go under and then over the yellow. Rotate and repeat on the other red strands. Now rotate and work with the yellows. This time, the inner upper right hand strand will be woven over and under the red. The strand parallel to it will be woven under and then over the red. Pull gently to tighten the strands. Can you see the body of it being formed? Go ahead and pull four strands forward and tie a knot for the head. Clip it with scissors so it kind of looks like a beak. Curl the tail with your scissors. Okay, don't forget to cut out some curves onto the wings as well. There it is, a beautiful ribbon bird. You can string it all together with some beads and hang it up wherever you like. Have fun with this and happy early Chinese New Year!